What's up guys? This is Gerald with Roman Roof Cleaning and Roof King Products. Hey, I just want to hop on here for a minute and talk about the Roof King 12. <clears throat> so, I'm kind of making this video so that anyone that purchases it uh, will kind of have a rundown. Uh, that way it makes it a little easier than having to message a lot of this information or uh, answer it on phone calls as much. So, uh, anyway, here's a couple things. So, one, uh, it's a Roof King 12. Um, sometimes that scares people because it's 12 gallons per minute. Well, one thing to know is there's not any soft wash system that shoots out what they're rated. So if you bring this thing home and you do a five gallon bucket test, it's not gonna do 12 gallons per minute. <clears throat> if you do it, if you hook up a half inch hose on one side of the pump going into a bucket, half inch hose to another bucket, it will probably do close to that. Uh, are closer but it's still not going to do what it's rated no pump i've ever bought has done what it's rated not sure why uh not sure how they can just lie about it and it worked but that's that's where we are in life so uh so that's one so something else these flow jet pumps when you purchase them uh they only have two screws holding them into their structure uh so one screw each which is weird there's not even a threaded hole to put another screw in them which they're they're solid there's there's got a clip that holds them too so i mean it's totally fine but i just don't want you to get it in and look at it and say hey there's a screw missing because i've had that a lot so uh that's not i don't build that part of the pump that's that comes from flow jet like that so i wanted to make sure you know everyone knows that um uh so the obviously your gallons per minute is going to be even lower uh on these units by the time you run it through a hose reel and you run it through quick connect fittings and you run it through all these other fittings coming down to the gun so even if you take your nozzle off do a bucket test i mean i'm I honestly i haven't done it in a long time but i'm guessing around i'm thinking it's around five gallons per minute is what you'll actually get there at the gun <clears throat> which is plenty that's what I, I mean obviously that's what i use every day all day and i mean i'm as fast or as or faster than most anyone that i know so obviously that's that's enough if you start getting any more than that it's really hard to control uh not only that even that amount a lot of times you have to use smaller tips to control it <clears throat> because you know you don't want it flooding on the roof you don't want to waste a lot of chemical so you can use different tips um, the tip sizes and all are on on my post online uh, so when you look up the Roof King 12 and see all the information it's got most of that right there obviously I don't mind answering any questions but if you read that most of the time it gives you everything you need to know <clears throat> also I also have a video of mounting one of the Roof King 12s that I usually try to send to people one thing that I did not show on there and I don't know why I didn't but when you after you drill the holes for the Roof King 12 on you know in the air compressor I usually drill the hole that the Roof King is going to mount to. Leave the hole on the back side small, but the one that's where the Roof King 12 is, where it mounts up, there's a nut right there. And I usually drill this the hole on this side big enough for that nut, so that way the Roof King 12 can mount flat, and it's a lot more stable that way. Uh, if you mount if you mount it without that, it's okay, but it wobbles a little bit because it's just mounting on that nut. So if you drill that hole a little bit bigger, it's just a lot better deal. So uh, that's another little trick that I I don't know why I didn't do it, but it's hard to sit down and make a video like that. <clears throat> so I wanted to just put it on here so that you know everyone will know. Um, one of the most common issues with the Roof Kings or any any system for that matter is where the hoses connect from the back of the Roof King. To the tanks anywhere between there and the tanks it can have i call it an air leak but you won't see the leak it'll be sucking air so you won't those are the hardest leaks to find usually the easiest way to find those is to unhook it from the roof king put a water hose into those uh, cam locks and force water from the roof king back to the tanks that way if there's a leak it'll usually leak that away if you're sucking the fluid, it won't cause a leak because the pump is just sucking. So it'll just suck air with the fluid. You'll never see that leak. But forcing air back through that way, a lot of times you can find it. <clears throat> a lot of times it's on the drop tubes that go down in the tank is where it sucks air. So all of those have to be, have either thread tape or they've got to have some good pipe dope or thread sealant. Uh, 
uh, to where you know liquid thread sealant to where that you're not sucking in air. That's a number one, one number one issue. Uh, I'm trying to speed through this so that it's not a super long video because I see it's already five minutes. Um, so those are the number one problems that I have. Uh, also, just make sure there's no leaks from the air compressor hose that's hooked up, which that's typically not a problem. Uh, every once in a while when we put them together, it's hard to get them lined up to where they look good and be completely tight. So sometimes we'll have a leak there. And if you do, most of the time you can just tighten it up uh, or I'll do whatever I need to do to help you fix that. <clears throat> so uh, that's another little thing to, to keep your eye on. Usually not, as, usually not a problem, but I have had a couple people call me on it. Um, other than that, you should be able to just hook this thing up and rock and roll. 99% of the people do that. Uh, obviously, there's 1%. We're not perfect. Things are going to happen, uh, but we try. You know, another issue is, you know, we ship these things out. We try to pad them up, uh, but these shippers just throw these things. So sometimes the little screw on the back gets a little bent. Typically, you can just bend it back a little bit and rock and roll. Uh, if not, they have them at Lowe's, but obviously, I can ship them to you too. But most of the time, people are ready to get them rolling, so they're not wanting to wait on me. <clears throat> so you can get those, those at Lowe's. Just make sure and get stainless ones. That way, there's not a problem. Um, other than that, I think, I think it's pretty good, pretty good to go. Uh, there's not any problems, uh, trying to prime these. You just hook it up, close all of the valves, make sure all of the valves are closed, turn on one and then prime it, close it, turn on the other one, prime it. As long as you do them one at a time, it usually primes up just like that. Super easy. So, um, some people don't use all three valves. There's one that's a soap valve. A lot of people don't use it anymore. So make sure it's completely closed tight. Sometimes priming, people forget about that one because they're not using it. So they leave it open and then it's, you can't get it primed because it's sucking a lot of air through there. Make sure that soap valve is completely closed if you're not using it. <clears throat> Other than that, you should be able to hook this thing up and rock and roll. So if you have trouble, obviously I'm always here. I, I mean, I'm a 100% fattest satisfaction guy. I didn't want anybody either unsatisfied or upset with me. So whatever I've got to do to make it right, you let me know because uh, we want you to be super happy. So uh, any questions, any problems, shoot me a message. I'll do whatever it takes to help you. You guys have a great day. Thanks.